right, we're back for the second half of the game, folks, and it's crunch time here. The atmosphere is nothing short of electric. This is where champions aren't born, but made. The tension is so thick here, you can cut it with a sharp instrument. And Pastor Chris just gave a MVP caliber set of announcements. Now we're gonna have to see how the crowd responds. This Usher team is solid. What a group of veterans and some good fresh blood in there. I'm told they have a nice mix of lefties. Hey Adam, I've heard they instituted a new system recently that hopefully will work better for them this season than last. The first trial didn't really work for them. Some players are blaming the coach. <laughs> Looks like we've got a disturbance. This is huge. This could be a huge momentum killer. And look at Dave Anderson moving in with authority. What a great combination of speed and discreetness. An amazing move. A great role player for sure. It's hard to believe that he was acquired by a trade with the Baptist for some communion trays and a used drum. Adam, that's what I call a bargain. That's big. He's also got great lateral usher ability. That man can ush. This is a great passing team right here. You always see them bringing their A game. Yes, they are very accurate. They minimize turnovers and interceptions. Wait a second. We may have a violation here. Let's go to replay. Can we get a different angle of that? Watch this guy. His hand passes over the bucket, but boom, nothing. He doesn't even put anything in it. Look at it. Look at it. That is big. And now we're going live to our sideline reporter to see what's going on in the children's ministry. Jen. As you can see, the air is electrified. You can tell this team's been working hard and their efforts are paying off. Just look at these kids. Now, from what I understand, Jen, there was a difficult fan earlier. That's right, Daniel. These lucky fans get a ticket just for showing up. And if they bring their Bible, they get the second coveted ticket. Unfortunately, there was a fan that thought that the Spider-Man comic could be passed off as the Bible. Luckily, this act was intercepted. Maybe next time, this fan will know that Peter Parker and Jesus of Nazareth are not in the same league. Well, you've got to admire the gall that some of these fans have. Those second tickets are big. But look at this classroom, Adam. It is World War III in there. Well, look at what's happening, Daniel. The goldfish crackers are gone. Mr. Potato Head is missing an eye. And this poor fan is trying to color in Jesus with a broken crayon. And all of this is being held by a player with no wingman? Sometimes that happens, Adam. A lone player must face the odds alone. But this player looks like she's got a few tricks up her sleeve. Look at this. Spare goldfish crackers and an ear for Mr. Potato Head's eye hole. Nice improvisation. And a blue crayon for coloring Jesus. Is there any evidence Jesus was blue? Either way, this team doesn't discriminate. And looks like Manuel Grijalva has just entered the field doing a head count of the fans this game. And check out the efficient clicking technique he has. Four fingers cupping followed by a straight down press with the thumb. Doesn't get any better than that. For those viewers that missed it, we had a special last week on the King's Pantry team. Let's go back and take another view at that footage. We're here in front of the King's Pantry and boy are things exciting here. We've just seen a fan drop off a truckload of groceries and it immediately sent these volunteers to work. Now tell me, Judy, how's your team handling this season? We've got a strong team this year and I can't say enough good things about them. We've got a great quarterback this year. I've seen him throw a family sized can of beans 30 yards. Strong lineman. We've got some that carry up to four bags in each arm full of canned goods. Now, there was some suspicion earlier on this season that you were swapping the labels off of Chunky Chicken Noodle Soup and putting them on store brand. Is there any truth to this rumor? Absolutely not. And what about these rumors that you've been putting white bread in wheat bags? That's absolutely ridiculous. Manuel! Oh! Ouch! Will you look at that? He hit our cameraman. Let's watch that again, folks. Right into your living room. Manuel! Well, thanks for joining us, folks, here at the KCFL. 
broadcasting live from the Airship Worship, now available in HD. Until next time, thanks for joining us. 